Hello everybody, this is Game with G2 and welcome back to another video. Today, I have something that I'm quite scared of and quite afraid right now. So here we go. Um, this is the, the start screen of this game called Doki Doki Literature Club. I saw this on Steam and I thought, oh, that looks like some kind of... Uh, it's, it's a free game on Steam and I thought it was going to be some kind of cutesy um, uh, visual novel style thing that I've never ever played before. And then I looked at the tags, and the tags say something like horror and psychological horror. And if you don't know me, I absolutely cannot stand horror. And I don't know why I'm playing this. Um, this is going to be an episode of, I think, Kevin Tries X, and X being uh, a game, Doki Doki Literature Club this time. And this is the first screen it greets me with, and I am scared as heck right now. Um, because, again, I uh, get afraid really quickly. I'm so scared of playing this right now. Um, by the way, I, uh, I, I, I don't know what to expect from this game. I'm expecting bad stuff. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Uh, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Um, well, there, I'm gone already. Easily disturbed. I don't know what kind of disturbing content there will be. I'm really afraid. As soon as it goes wrong, I will g genuinely just all F4 the game and just quit. I'm done. It's going to be an episode of Kevin Tries. If this somehow works out, then I may make this a series. I don't know if I'm going to be play uh, if I'm gonna be playing through this. Uh, again, it's a free game on Steam, so it's not like it actually cares and pay anything for this anyway. Oh boy, I'm so like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm uh, really afraid right now. <laughs> and I don't even want to continue here. Um... This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression uh, may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit. Okay, wait. Let me quickly visit this website. Let me just... Uh, 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 um, this page contains spoilers. Um, if you're affected by any of the following items, please do not play... The depression, suicide, self, self harm, abuse. Um, okay, if you okay. By the way, I will get, tell you right now. Uh, but, you know what? If you're affected by any of the following themes, please do not play Doki Doki Literature Club. Depression, suicide, self harm, abuse. Oh God. Oh, whoa, this is gonna go really wrong real quick. Um, if there's anything, I will censor it completely. Uh, for this screen, I just don't. Um. um Okay, <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Um, by playing Doctor Clisher Club, you agree that you are at least 13 of age and you consent to your exposure to highly disturbing content. Oh my god, I don't even want to. I will literally quit. The, the episode will quit as soon as something goes wrong. Um, I agree, Sherman. Ah, the, the volume is quite loud. Ah, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I've just been three minutes of talking. This game is so suitable for children who are also easily disturbed. Oh my god. This, this, uh, I don't even know. Help, help me! How do I deinstall this game? Uninstall this, oh man. Okay, I'm actually gonna go full screen. I hope it's still recording though. I hope so. Look at, just, if you look at this, listen, just, it, it looks like a cutesy visual novel style thing. Um, I, but I'm severely afraid. This is one of those games that's gonna just like, oh look at how cute it is, and it's just gonna go downhill really quickly. Um, I assume that's what it is. I, otherwise they wouldn't ever have the horror tag. I'm so scared. Enter your name. My name is Kevin. Alright. I'm so scared right now. I hope there's not, I, I believe there isn't gonna be any, uh, like, you know, Jump scares? If there's a jump scare, I'm done. I'm literally done. I will not. How about I just kind of move away from the screen slightly? Uh, I don't want to play this. Anything that has the horror tag, I just don't want to. Oh my god, I'm so, so scared right now. Oh my god. Hey! I see an annoying girl running to- annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we are- ch since we were children. Oh, of course, childhood friends. You know, the child- uh, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after uh, after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Wait, what? However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah! Ah! What the hell is this? I overslept again, but I caught you this time. 
maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh god, please, we're going to... I can't even do female for you. Uh, you say that you're like... Wait, what? Uh, you say like... I can't read anymore, I'm just too nervous. Uh, hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, you meanie. Tsundere. Uh -huh. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Please stop. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you uh, you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Saudi. <laughs> I'm so scared. This is gonna go downhill real quick, and I don't. I don't. Uh, we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets uh, become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Now, I don't know when it's gonna kick in. I don't know when. So it might be. I might. If it doesn't happen yet in this first episode, I might make this at least a two parter to make sure that, you know, I can actually, like, get to the point where the plot twist happens. I assume there's a plot. Again, I've not seen anything. But according to what, you know, according to uh, the horror tag, something is definitely, very definitely going to go wrong. Um, I could speak with other students. By the way, Kevin, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a, a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Uh, oh, I, I right-clicked accidentally. Uh, I don't know if this is fine. Wait. Um, okay, I accidentally right-clicked and I removed the, uh, the thing. So I really like to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time with games and anime. It's okay, it seems totally legit. Reason to spend your time or wait to spend. <laughs> uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. This hits hard to home. No. <laughs> no, I'm lying. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I died the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Well, at least promise you'll try a little. I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Oh, God. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her inside of her head. I feel like, by the way, this video definitely going to get demonetized. And I don't care about that, actually. Um, I assume because this doesn't seem like at, well as far as it goes right now this is totally advertiser friendly but I have a feeling it might go wrong again I already said that but I feel like I don't care if this gets demonetized I don't care on um, the school day it's just ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it I start back up my things I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation clubs sorry wants me uh, to check out some clubs I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club Hello, Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought you'd catch, uh, I'd catch you coming out from the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. You know what? That you could come to my club? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to your club. What kind of club is it even? Mini. Oh, oh. The vice president of literature. Oh, of course, it's called literature club in the title of the game. Exciting literature club is the translation of the name. I don't wonder what kind of exciting it's gonna be. At least it's gonna be. Uh, I don't know. Man. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to uh, to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest uh, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why don't? You, why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And that's going to make a case and everything. What? Eh, uh -huh. don't make promises you can't keep. Uh, I can't tell if Sai is really that much of an airhead or she's just so cunning as to have a uh, have planned this all out 
I let out a long sigh. Final stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Okay. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Wow, fantastic. I actually ate a cupcake like five minutes ago, or no, it's small. It's, uh, this video is already 10 minutes in. Let's say 20 minutes ago. I dejectedly follow Saturday across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year class and activities. Saturday, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Um, everyone, this, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you, Girl One. Girl One, what a nice name, thank you. Sorry, always uh, says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? That's Girl Two, okay. Way to kill the atmosphere, Girl Three. Ah, uh, Kevin, what, night. what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh, oh God, Jesus Christ, amazing. I knew this would come. Um, what are you looking at? Looking at how flat you- um, never mind. Uh, if you want to say something, say it. S sorry Natsuki. So this person is Natsuki? Pfft. This is really the Tsunre type, as you can already tell. The girl, uh, with the sour attitude, whose name, apparently, yeah, Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. Um, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. So he says uh, that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Oh, it's full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't call your character Yuri, that, please. D don't don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears uh, comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like uh, Natsuki. Um, oh, well, it's nice to see both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right, Monica. I don't know who you are, but hey. It's great to see you again. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, we do know each other well, but uh, well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, wow. Basically completely out of my league. Oh man, what another harem thing where the main character gets all the girl. This is not gonna be a thing like that. This is gonna go very downhill. I don't know when. It might even take another half hour. Uh, which is what I said, like, already, this might be multiple episodes, uh, because, you know, it might take a long time for it to reach, like, the, the, the point where it goes downhill. And if it's too bad, I will literally quit. That's what I already said, because I don't like, uh, um, kind of weird, you know, disturbing stuff. Uh, and I know it's coming, because they I advertised it, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Nice. Y you too. <laughs> That's a kind of awkward thing to say. Uh, come sit down, Kevin. I made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me, Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Uh, then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged uh, to form a table. It doesn't look like that from the background image, but. <laughs> I thought I mentioned it's been uh, widened, uh, so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk off the next corner of the room, and Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. That's probably why he said, y y you two. <laughs> Super awkward stuff right here. I wouldn't do any better. Uh, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow, God, this is great. Let's get the phone to the tray and reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes that create look like cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing. Little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. They are really selling this as like a cutesy freaking visual novel. Uh, imagine buying this game not looking at what it actually said and somehow somehow looking over the uh, warnings at the beginning. I mean, that would be better, but it's good to have the warnings. I mean, if, if I would go into this knowing that, or thinking that this was gonna be a cutesy uh, visual novel, I would literally be scared to death if anything happened. That would be so weird. I don't know, man. So cute. I had no idea you were good at baking, that's gay. Yeah, well, you know, just hurry and take one. So you got the first one, then when I follow. Delicious is gonna be poisoning. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's gonna happen though. I don't know when. I don't know what. Sorry, uh, talks to the mouse fool and always managed to get icing on her face. 
I turned the cupcake around my finger looking from the best angle to take a bite. Let's get quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Oh, Tsundere Girl is already in love with the main character, which is actually me, so I don't know why I named it myself. I don't want to be seen as the... <laughs> it just feels weird, you know? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. Wonder she made it herself. It's really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Uh, wh why are you... Th uh, I already told you, this is a fucking Tsundere type. Oh, why are you thanking me? It it's not like I... <laughs> Haven't I heard this song before? Uh, wow, this is cliche right here. This is very, uh, great, fantastic. It's not like I made them for you or anything. Yeah. <sighs> I thought you technically did, so he said, well, maybe. See, I told you the moment I saw this character. But not for you, dummy. Uh, funny. All right, all right. I gave up on Natsuki's weird life. I'm By the way, I'm still nervous as heck, if you can't tell. I'm screwing up all kinds of dialogue, it's, uh, I don't know, man. I gave up Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully plays the teacup in front of each of us before standing down a tea top. Next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole set of tea in this classroom. Don't worry, teachers gave us permission. After all, does not a uh, hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to be reading. I wonder what kind of books they'll be reading. Probably, uh, murder stuff according to again i don't know what's gonna happen i can come up with all kinds of situations that can go horribly wrong or something um i don't know man i i, I guess hey don't let yourself get intimidated uh yuri's just trying to impress you eh that's not oh stop insult at yuri looks away i mean that you know oh, stop i believe you well the tea and reading might not be uh past time for me but at least enjoy tea i'm glad Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises her eyebrow, uh, then r smiles at me. Uh, so what made you consider literature club? Well, my my um, childhood friend said that they wanted someone to join, and they had planned it out completely, and uh, they wanted me to join you. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell. I was practically dragged here by society. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and so you seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Um, as part of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather take something personally, enjoy, and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Cool. Monica is a great leader. Duty also nods in agreement. And then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Yeah, must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to something to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festival that much more important. Um, I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we can graduate, right everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best, you know it. Everyone en enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls are interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Uh, though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their love of enthusiasm about literature. So Kevin, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, um, 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 so science fiction, uh, maybe? Um, oh well, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, oh. Um, I mutter uh, quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh wow. Well, that, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without, uh, without thank you after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Isekai stuff here. Um, isekai stuff is really booming in like the anime stuff right now. Uh, like, uh, you know, another world, a parallel world uh, stuff. For some reason, I, I you know. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since she since much she walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. 
But you know, unlike lots of things, stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw for a loop? For throwing for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. No, it's we're gone. Nope, nope, nope. I read a horror book once. Nope, I'm gone here. Don't don't talk about horror. Let's not continue with this. <laughs> well, I saw the word horror. It's gonna end right here, right here. I just really grasped something I can relate to the middle of. At this rate, Yuri might as well be uh, having a conversation with a rock. Really wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some, someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. The story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I can't, really can't put it down. It's a real horror. It's also very successful to change the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Same. Same. Absolutely same. And I don't want to be playing this game, and I feel so... Uh, why is that? Well, I just... That's because I dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. Usually, I like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? I'd prefer that over horror. Never, you know, this, all of this is still fine. It's gonna go downhill real soon, and I don't feel happy about that at all. Oh, what? I'll get you that idea. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last thought meeting. It looked like you were look, uh, working a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry, signs up behind Nutsky and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! God. Uh, you write your own poems? Ah, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! <laughs> Let's get her eyes. Um, uh, you wouldn't like them. I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Oh, wow. Do you have any writing experience too, uh, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and have Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. Eh, uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. You all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look qui uh, quizzically at Monica. Uh, let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Next time we'll meet, we'll share them all with each other. That way everyone's even. Um. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, we have one new member. I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kevin? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still a problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry, you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with the dejected eyes. Oh, God. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, Kevin, <laughs> you all are defenseless against these girls, wow. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with this beautiful girl, stop. Right, I've decided then, I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Ugh. Um, sorry, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really came for the cu uh, just for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Now that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting with a good note. Everyone, remember today tonight's assignment. Wait to on about the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks with me once again. Kevin, look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Kevin, since we're all uh, already here, do you want to walk home together? Oh, God. That's right, sorry, and I never walk home together anymore because you always stayed uh, after school for clubs. Ah, uh, sure, might as well. Yay, oh boy. With that, the two of us depart from the club and make our way back home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sorry. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. I would really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to go close to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess I guess that starts with a poem tonight. That's probably going to be the end of this episode. It's time to write a poem. Pick words, uh, never mind about the end of the episode. Pick your words you think your favorite club member will like. Uh, something good might happen to whoever. I feel like, oh, disaster, 
scars. Oh, this is gonna go really wrong. Okay, so we need to pick words. Wait, uh, cute, I guess. Um, um, peace. It's gonna go very wrong. Cage. Oh, I see some bad words in here. I feel like. I wonder if at some point. Uh, okay, I, don't, I wonder how they're gonna implement this stuff. All right, I don't know. Let's go for romance. Um, anxiety. I see words coming up that I don't want to be picking whatsoever. Fun. Ah, journey. Shame. Uncanny. Dark. Oh God. Okay. Um. Journey. Awesome. Promise. Swim. Swimsuit. Extraordinary. Hurt. Uh, let's do shiny. Oh no! If that, if uh, yeah, that's a shitty love reference. Depression. Oh no! I see bad stuff. Desire time. Let's do it together. Massacre. Oh my god! Tragedy. Oh my god! Kiss. How about that? Lust. Excitement. Agonizing. Oh man! Games. Stuff is gonna go very wrong. Um. How about, um, I don't know, um, rainbow, dream, it's, look at this, suicide? No, I wonder if the poems are gonna be a main factor in the game, and later on you're gonna have to write poems with only the bad words in here or something. Um, I have a bad feeling about this. Um, laugh. Um, friends, um, nature. Daydream, uh, wonderful, um, I don't know, fireflies, comfort, um, kawaii, no, no, let's take it, <laughs> um, um, special, sure man, whatever, alright, I'm actually gonna save the game here, I assume I can just hit save and do an empty slot, there we go, um, so that's gonna be episode one of this game. I don't know, I have a bad feeling. I already saw some really bad words come uh, there. I, want, I, I wonder what's gonna happen with that. I feel like, I don't know, man, I don't know. I, okay, so this episode, nothing actually happened. I was scared for nothing, but um, next time we'll be continuing this and I hope that nothing bad's gonna, uh, it will, it will. Um, I'm scared. I truly am scared and um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video um, if you by the way if I think this plot twist might be uh, if, if you guys want to play this yourself and you want to experience whatever happens yourself then I would totally recommend you check out the Steam uh, page for this and I'll put the link in the description if you don't want any like plot twists or anything any kind of spoilers then definitely uh, play it yourself and don't watch this video then uh, watch these videos after uh, playing the game yourself. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.